right, what's up everybody? Another day, another property tour. If you guys are just tuning into this channel for the first time, my name is Chuck, it's Chris Watt, and I'm with Simply Vegas. I'm a real estate agent out here in Las Vegas. So today we are here in this master plan community of Southern Highlands, and we are located on the far south side, Southern Highlands. So today we are gonna be exploring this beautiful home by Lennard. Now this is actually a resale home and there are a couple things that need to be done to this property. However, we're going to take a look at it. If you guys can oversee the things that I talk about in this home, I think this is a diamond in the rough. Now this one right here, you do have some solar panels. The only thing about the solar panels is that you got to find out how long the term is because it is a volunteer and lean and also what you are paying per kilowatt for every year that you own it. I believe Nevada Power is nine, nine cents a month. So you just want to take a look at all that stuff, okay? Now this home, the asking price is uh, 600 Oh, I'm sorry. It is not 600. That is the dyslexic in me, so I do apologize. The price on here is $469,999. Now, the thing about this was this is a Lennar built home, right? In a gated community. Lennar had a contract with the solar companies, so that's the reason why you see all this. It's pretty much all streamlined, it's all into the walls. If you got solar panels after, then you'll see the conduits running up the walls here, okay? Right here, this is basically your um, system, your home team defense pest system. Uh, basically on this track, you just hook a, a connection right up to this right here. And I, I think it's like a clear tube that you hook up. And basically what this does, it feeds all the chemicals into your wall for uh, pests. Now let's go this way here. Forgot to mention that the uh, square footage of this home is 2,323 square feet. You have some nice terracotta pavers, stack stone. You have some nice color blocking with the thick trowel texture on the stucco here. You got the wood eaves, okay? They all seem to be in good condition. Now, this one's a little bit unique here because if you look, the doors off to the side. Now this could be alarming sometimes, um, not having a door in front of your home. So that way when you do come here, somebody could literally be hiding here. I'm not saying that's the case here, but I'm just saying just something to think about because that's, that's what this channel is about. It's really about to educate you and really think about when you're purchasing a home. Now this sun, this home right here is facing west. So your sun exposure is going to be on the front of the house as we come in. As you can see, it's a nice open floor plan. You have some beautiful granite countertops. You got the two inch on the uh, granite countertops here. Center island. You got the GE appliances. Still in pretty good condition. Now remember, this is a used home now, folks. So we have the undermounted sink, dual basin. And it looks like you have a soap dispenser. So you got the regular standard shaker cabinets. Looks like it just needs a little bit of touch up paint here and there. So basically what you're going to see with this home is just elbow grease and that's what you need. As far as the quality of the home, the quality is here. Now remember Lennar, what you're going to see is 42 upper cabinets with 3 inch on the crown. Um, you got the skip trawl texture. Okay. We have 9 foot ceilings. Let me take you out to the back for a second here. As we come out to the back, we do have the standard doors that uh, come with the build. It's not your top-notch grade, however, you still got a slider. Now, the only downfall that I see here is just basically we're all looking into each other's backyard. One of the things that I would do is probably put a cover patio just like that to kind of block out for other people looking inside. Now this is a pretty large lot here. This is about 4,300. This is gonna give you a general idea of a lot size of 4,300, right? I think I forgot to mention, it is a four bedrooms and a three baths. You do have a balcony off the primary. And in addition to that, we do have a bedroom downstairs too as well. But when you have four bedrooms on a 2,300 square feet, 
they're going to have to cut some room somewhere. And we're going to go inside. We're going to identify that right away. Okay. So it looks like a grill was sitting here at one point. Let's uh, take a look on this side. So this could be definitely your dog run, and that's what it looks like they did with the uh, garage there. But let's uh, let's go take a look. One thing that we need to do is take a look at the cabinets too, as well, because let's take a look at the quality of the cabinets. I can tell you right now they're probably the side glides and MDF staples. Yep, that's pretty much a standard with Lennar. Now let's go over here. Let's take a look. What do we have here? We got the double stack oven convection. Wi-Fi connection. So they use this a couple times here. Forgot to show you this beautiful, nice 36 inch cook countertop with the five burner. That's right. All appliances will be including the sale of this transaction. Let's take a look what we have here. We got the pantry. If you guys are down, for some drinks, you guys can't really see that, so I apologize. That's not a big deal. Let's go on to the garage. So, the garage, basically, two-car garage. You got the doggy door. Now, you've got a two-foot span here and a foot here, so you could literally only probably fit two cars. Well, a mid-size in a smaller car here but will be hard to get out looks like you do have soft water loop which is really nice you got the um that's probably like a 40 gallon tank i think all right let's go back inside shut this real quick turn off the lights and what do we got here storage definitely would make this a pantry but they colored this blue not too sure why and drew airplanes all over the place. Now let's make our way all the way back up stairs. What you know what? Before we do that, let's take a look at here this. Nice closet. Decent size. Also, Lenar, they're getting pretty um techy with their stuff right here. So basically this is an entry code right here. Boom, boom, boom. Now you have to change that like almost like every year. The flooring here is, let's see what kind of flooring this is. So this is laminate flooring, okay? But take a look at this. I love the fact that you do have a, a bedroom here. This is a, probably a 10 by 11. Again, you're gonna have to paint the interior of the house for sure. You got one wire or actually one light. So now look. The good news is that is this, you have a two rocker switch, okay? You can still do a fan here with a light, but you're gonna have to get a fan that has a remote, so just keep that in mind. Carpets, uh, pretty decent. It looks like you could just still do a carpet shampoo. Here's your three quarter bath, okay? Now your cabinet's gonna be about 36 inches, so it's gonna be very low. Uh, looks like there are some, uh, scuff marks and some paint and stuff like that. So that could be refurbished. The tub or the the shower here, the one piece. Okay, this is off its track. I'm not gonna mess with that because the last thing I want is this thing to break and I gotta buy this house. And um, can't do that. I'm stacking my money right now. All right, now the steps. Steps for me is a little bit steep. As you you guys know, I'm going to walk upstairs and I'm probably going to be out of breath. And you guys are going to be like, why are you so out of breath? But I love what they did to the stairs. So stairs, they added these wood pieces. Now, stairs are very hard to do because they're not very symmetrical. So you can't cut like 20 of these planks and just put them on there. So you have to measure each stair. Then when you install it, right, there's a certain way to install it so that way it looks seamless. And I love how they did these toe kicks here and they painted it white like this. Gives a custom look. However, you still do have some scuffs on the toe kicks because as you're walking upstairs, you end up kicking it. But take a look at this. As we come upstairs, this is the kind of where they short you on that 2,300 square feet with the four bedrooms, right? Now, let's take a look at this. 
you got closet space here. This would just be like what your linen closet. For me, this is the primary. I would have got rid of this, right? Don't need this. Make this in a different location like this laundry room here. Or put it somewhere else. Again, wash and dry. I love the fact that we have a pan here. We have 36 upper cabinets with a nice crown. And then we have our sink. So we have a bedroom two and three here that has a Jack and Jill. But let's go inside. Nine foot ceilings. Carpet and the pad on here. Really, really nice. Just make sure when you do also do an inspection, have the home inspector go up in the attic. You want to check if they got the radiant barrier. Typically with this builder, you'll have a radiant barrier. I'm not going to go into what radiant barrier is. And check the uh, installation too as well, what the R rating is for the batten. So in this one, you have the Corian countertops. And also you have the, uh, what is this? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Lost my train of thought. Let me know. Let me know. Boom. Let me know. Thank you. Those are cast iron. But now take a look at this. Right in the back of you, we have the toilet tub shower combo fiberglass one piece. However, uh, the lights are out, so we can't go in there. Or you can't really see. Now let's take a look in this bedroom here. Well, somebody decided to put some wallpaper up on here. Now, wallpaper is not easy to put up. It's just kind of strange. It's almost like they just left in a flash. Okay. Nice high ceiling, so I'm going to appreciate that. All right, let's go this way. Heading over to the primary. Now, if you guys want measurements on the primary or the rest of the bedrooms, uh, go ahead and click on the link in the description below. Get you all the measurements that you do need. Okay. Very large bedroom. Now, coming into the bathroom here, we have the 12 by 24 on the tile. Right off to the right, you can see we have a nice uh, toilet or water closet and look how large this closet is pretty decent size gotta admit yeah not bad right wow look how deep this tub is this is a large tub right here Now, if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Also, I wanted to say, if you guys have not had a chance to visit Chuck It's 2.0, go and check that out. So it's just a new video vlog on everything real estate. So if you guys just like real estate, want to get into the industry, real estate investing, whatever it is, go check that out. Also, today, forgot to mention, Sunday. Right, and I'm gonna upload this video today too as well. Uh, we got done with a bunch of showings all this morning, and um, this is my last duty for today is to shoot this video. After I'm done shooting this video, I'm gonna go spend the rest of my day with my wife and enjoy her company. Okay, forgot to mention the uh, temperature today is hovering around high 60s, low 70s. The only thing I don't like about this is you can like literally see your neighbors. Crazy, huh? See, look at this guy over there. Bill! Bill! Right there's Bill. Bill! Yo! All right, let's go back inside. All right. All right, so now we're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna finish this video. Like I said, if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, I'm not too sure what you guys are waiting for. This is the only channel that's gonna help and educate you 
to purchase a property out here in Las Vegas, Nevada, just do the fact that's what I'd love to do, right? It's all about educating the buyers. And Michael, I'm back. That's right, baby. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. If you guys are interested in this property, go ahead and click on the link in the description below. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck. It's Chris Wall with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day. Did you like that video home tour? Are you a fan of this channel and you want to get plugged into the real estate market? Well, I got something for you. We have a new channel, real estate, vlogs, Las Vegas lifestyle, behind the scenes, financing, flipping, commercial properties, interviews, local businesses, Chuck It's Crucible 2.0. Check it out.